Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Be Bella Beauty. I hope that you are a consistent watcher and this isn't the first time you see my videos. So as you know, my name is Brenda, but if this is your first video you're watching, go check out my other videos, please, and leave comments or any questions that you have. So for today, I'm going to be doing this look here. It is a brown with a little bit of black smoky eye, but I really wanted to use this blue-black pigment that I got for MAC because I love it. I think it's so fun. I definitely think this is a nighttime look, but I feel like you could also wear this like to an event, like a formal or like maybe you're going to a wedding and you really want to do something like kind of upscale, but it's still kind of fun. You know, you want to keep it on the fun side. So yeah, this is the look that I have for you guys today and I hope you like it. I hope you can recreate it. And if you have any other questions or comments, go ahead and comment down below. I'm using a Morphe G14 brush to apply my base, which is Soft Ochre from MAC. It is a paint pot, and you can use your finger as well, but I just like using this brush because it really gets those little hard-to-reach places, places since I do do my eyebrows first. And then to start off, I am using the 35T palette, and this is from Morphe, and I'm using the two browns in the left and top corner and I'm using these two colors I mix them both together with the big fluffy brush as my base because you really need them to transition whenever you're doing any type of eyeshadow it's really important to start off with different shades and then work your way darker or however you're doing your smoky eye because when you just apply one color sometimes you don't get that blend that you really really want and then after that I'm also applying a darker brown which is more towards the bottom of the palette as you can tell I use this a lot this palette really does have a lot of pretty browns in it to use for different types of looks and once again I am blending it many 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 times if you want more of a dramatic look you can start off with like more of an orangey transition but I want to keep it kind of subtle and then I'm gonna go in right in the crease with a little bit of black just because I want a little more drama to my eye but I'm not putting too much pigment I like barely dabbed my elf blending brush which is a dollar and I've mentioned before I love it it's one of my favorite blending brushes and I'm just putting just a tiny bit of product just to get a little bit more of like that definition in my crease I've noticed that not all elf brushes are identical so you want to keep an eye out for that and then I'm gonna go over it again with my big fluffy brush and just to get some more blend in my eye to blend all three well four because I started off with two colors all four colors to blend them together and to transition and then I'm going to apply the blue black pigment I didn't really get to focus on it my camera unfocused but I will post a picture down in the link below so you can check it out to see how it looks but it's just a little pigment um, probably the size like of your thumb and I'm applying it with my finger because I don't want it to be too dark if you want the blue to show more you can get a flat brush and dab it with like some fix spray and then dip that into the pigment and press it on your eye but that gives it like a darker color but I'm just really going for this really really subtle light smoky eye for some reason this pigment really reminds me of like peacock feathers like all those colors combined like in this pigment and then I'm gonna go in with my Morphe M332 brush and I'm using Embark it's a single shadow from MAC this is a very dark deep brown it's like almost like what has like some gray tones in it and I'm gonna put that right in the crease and I'm just blending everything together with this because I really want this smoky eye more on the brown side I want to kind of dim that black down and this eyeshadow I actually used to use on my eyebrows I love it on my eyebrows as well but now I'm using it on my crease and you know I couldn't do a tutorial without using some color pop I'm using Ibiza it's a single shadow it's this really pretty turquoise color and I'm using it in the bottom of my eye I'm using a very flat thin brush just to apply it right underneath and I feel like this is what really makes it like fun like you can wear it during the day I would totally wear this to like my formal if I was in high school again this was actually really similar to the color of my dress and yeah I feel like it's just fun and it makes your eyes pop I really love this color under 
any eyeshadow look especially browns i feel like they just go together really well and i'm taking a little bit more of that blue black pigment and i'm going underneath my eye as well just to give it a little bit extra shimmer And then I'm applying my Colossal Mascara. I was really tempted to leave this look without eyelashes. I was really satisfied with just a mascara look because I felt like it wasn't too harsh. But, you know, I had to add my eyelashes. So my eyelashes were not being my friends today. They were totally, like, not wanting to stay where I wanted them. But, you know, you have to let them dry. I don't think I let them dry long enough. So you just let them dry and then you apply them and then you just press down with the tip of your finger. Like I said, they were not being my friends. Literally after I finished the video, I had to reapply them. But, you know, I had already done this whole makeup look so I couldn't start over. But yeah, hopefully you have better luck with your lashes than me. And then to clean up all the excess pigment under my eye and anything that fell underneath on my cheek, I am using my highlighter pen. It's Prep and Prime Highlighter Pen from MAC, and it's in the shade Radiant Rose. And I love to use this to clean up under my eyes and define my eyeshadow. I know some people put tape. I'm not a big fan of that. I just feel like this is a really good way to not only highlight your face, but it also like just cleans up and gives that sharp edge right underneath. And it also conceals my red, red cheeks. Then I'm taking my Maybelline Fit Me foundation and I am dabbing it all over my face. And I really haven't been using foundation brushes anymore. Like I've really just been sticking to my beauty blender. And if you don't have one, you really, really should try it. Just remember you have to get it a little wet first and squeeze out any of the extra water and just leave it very damp. I feel like it makes a big difference and you don't you would think it absorbs the product but it really doesn't. Like you don't have to use that much of the product. And this foundation, the Maybelline Fit Me, I really like it cuz it gives me enough coverage. Um I am a fan of a lot of coverage, but I feel like, you know, sometimes I don't always wear a lot of coverage and this really works out for me. And yeah, you definitely should try out a beauty blender. They are so awesome. And I'm just taking a little bit of this pH bronzer and I'm just taking just a little bit. I'm not contouring too much today. I'm trying to keep that more on the subtle side. And then I'm going to go in with my damp beauty blender and get my airspun translucent powder and I'm applying it under my eyes and underneath my contour just to give it a little bit more of a definition and I feel like baking is a really good process with more of like a shiny foundation if you have a pretty matte foundation like the Kat Von D it isn't that important because you already have kind of a matte face I do let it sit for a couple of minutes and then when it is done sitting, I remove it with a big fluffy brush. And then after that, I'm going to apply my MAC Studio Fix powder. And I just love this powder like for my overall face. I've been using it since I started doing my makeup and I don't think I would trade it for the world. It is so awesome. The coverage is amazing. It makes your face look so flawless. Like I miss it when I don't wear it. And then for highlighter, I'm wearing Anastasia Beverly Hills Reveria, and I apply it right on my cheekbones, and I'm applying a lot today because I really want to glow, and I'm applying it on the tip of my nose and on the top of my lip. And for my lips, I'm going to be using Velvet Teddy from MAC. It is a matte lipstick, and it's one of my favorite nude lipsticks. I feel like it gives me those Kylie Jenner lips that I really want. I try really hard not to overline, but this lipstick just makes me want those lips. And I'm applying it with a lipstick brush. And then right in the middle, I'm using LA Girl Glazed Lip Paint in the shade Whisper. I applied some in the middle and just rubbed it more in because I just wanted a little bit more shine to my lips. My 
and that is it guys i hope you enjoyed this video like and subscribe to my channel i will link my instagram and facebook down below and yeah let me know if you recreate this look or comment with any questions and give me a thumbs up if you liked it